Which of the following is a primary source on Japanese film director Akira Kurosawa, born 1910, died 1998? So this is a research skills question, and only four of these will appear on your Praxis writing exam. Which is good, there aren't that many of them, some of them you can kind of logic your way through, or use what you already know about the world of research to make decent guesses. Uh, but for some, in this case, we do need to know a little bit of terminology, which is why I'm going to define primary and secondary sources before we get to looking at the choices. A primary source is authentic to the time, person, or subject under study. It is an original source created without any scholarly commentary. Whereas a secondary source relates, discusses, or analyzes information originally presented somewhere else. One way to think about this is that a secondary source is just a discussion of a primary source. It's something that's run through a third party, it's a scholar's interpretation of a work or of a person. So with those definitions settled, let's go to our choices. We're, we're looking for a primary source. So again, something authentic to the time, person or subject under study, an original source with no scholarly commentary. So option A is a biography written about Kurosawa. Now, a biography written about Kurosawa sounds like scholarly commentary to me. That sounds like an analysis of his work and of his life. So I'm going to say that's a secondary source. We can cross that off. B, an American remake of a Kurosawa film. Now, a Kurosawa film itself would be a primary source on Kurosawa's career. A remake of that film is kind of like a commentary on or a remix of an original piece. So this is also a secondary source on Kurosawa. Kurosawa didn't make this American remake. Someone else did. An American did. Option C, a critical analysis of early Kurosawa films. Now, if Kurosawa did that analysis, that would be a primary source, but it doesn't say that. It just says a critical analysis of. So that is a scholarly commentary and therefore a secondary and not a primary source. A photograph taken of Kurosawa on a film set. Now, Kurosawa himself didn't create this source, but it is authentic to the time, person, or subject under study. This could be an option for us. And finally, an interview with Kurosawa's children. This one's a little sticky because it's members of Kurosawa's family, so they knew Kurosawa personally, right? Being his children. However, even if the interview was about their father's career, that would still be a third party discussing the career of Akira Kurosawa. An interview with Akira Kurosawa would be a primary source, but an interview with anybody else, even his own children, is a secondary source on his own work. So option D, a photograph taken of Kurosawa on a film set, is our answer. Because it's a photograph that captures Kurosawa while he's working, so it's authentic to the time. It's a photograph of him, so it's authentic to the person. Uh, it's an original source right? It's just a photograph. And so accordingly, there's no commentary associated with it. As long as you remember that a primary source is an original source with no scholarly commentary, you will excel on questions like these.